What is going on, people? Coming at you a little after, you know, a couple days after I did my whole uh, 31 Days Hath October series. If you want to check it out, go ahead and do it. Um, I did a horror movie review for every day of the month in October. So if you have missed all 31 uh, episodes, if you want to call them episodes, uh, the last being a four-hour live stream, almost five-hour live stream. Um, it was pretty crazy. Uh, but what I did, um, I noticed on Amazon, I don't know if it was just, well, I guess it's not just for October because I just checked it, uh, but they have a sale on, uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, um, this right here. The Universal Monsters box set. It comes with 30 movies in it. 30 classic monster films in HD uh, from the studio that defied Hollywood horror genre. So pretty much what this is, as you can tell, it's the classic monsters. It's uh, movies from 1931 to 1956. Uh, pretty much, uh, this is all the legacy collections. If you own the legacy collections it's pretty much um all of them uh i didn't own any of the legacy collections i did own like the individual uh movies themselves like the wolfman and all that stuff the stuff uh universal uh monster movies that they put out on steelbook or uh with those cool slip covers if you didn't check out my hamilton book on uh boxing um you saw i got some of the glow in the dark ones so I got all those, but I never owned the Legacy Collections, which is pretty much <clears throat> every movie that came out under that uh, Universal Monster kind of deal. I think the only one that has just one is The Phantom of the Opera, so I already did have that a few times over. Actually, now I have it three times as opposed to actually four times now as opposed to just once but everything else the only reason i got it is because like i said all the other ones are the um legacy collection so they do have a bunch of other movies on there uh there is 30 movies like i said so uh i'll just read them off it says dracula frankenstein the mummy the invisible man the bride of frankenstein werewolf of london dracula's daughter son of frankenstein uh, the Invisible Man Returns, The Mummy's Hand, uh, The Invisible Woman, The Wolfman, uh, Ghost of Frankenstein, Invisible Agent, The Mummy's Tomb, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, Son of Dracula, The Invisible Man's Revenge, uh, The Mummy's Ghost, House of Frankenstein, The Mummy's Curse, House of Dracula, She-Wolf of London, Abbott and Costello Meets Frankenstein, Abbott and Costello Meets the uh, Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Lagoon uh, Revenge of the creature abbot Cod Stella meets the mummy and the creature walks among us so it goes from 1931 to 1956 and those are listed in the uh in the order or the date that they did come out but in the legacy collection it just has you know every movie for that universal uh universal monster on the collection so the re main reason I got this is because this set is usually like 150 bucks, 149.99 I believe it usually goes for. But right now on Amazon it's actually 69.99. So for 70 bucks you get 30 movies. So that's the main reason I got this. Like I said, I did have the you know the other Universal Movie Monster, uh, you know collections i guess you want to call it but those are individual movies and every one one of them or two of them have like an extra movie on it but not many uh but this one like i said has all the uh monsters and if you want to you know get into the universal monsters why not get pretty much every movie that has come out for them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up this box set and um i'm going to show you what comes inside what I didn't uh, see, I did. I saw a couple people unbox this, um, just because it was one of those deals where I wanted to check to see what uh, you know came in before I did buy the whole thing. But um, what it seems like is some of these legacy collections will have a few of the movies like doubled on them, like for uh, Wolfman meets Frankenstein or what's up, or, or something like that. It actually comes in both of the legacy collection so it does come for uh come with the uh wolfman 
and Frankenstein, I'm guessing, and a few of these, like uh, the Dracula and Frankenstein kind of deal. So I believe some of these have a, you know, a couple doubles and stuff like that. But this is the box set. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You got the classic movie monsters, like I said, uh, with the dates and such. Um, that's the uh, corner of it. The box set itself looks really cool. The back of it that lists all the, uh, you know, all the movies and such. That's what the actual box set looks like. Um, like I said, it's pretty much just all the uh, legacy collections, except for the Phantom of the Opera, which is the only standalone movie and stuff like that. Uh, it comes with a whole bunch of, um, you know, um, behind-the-scenes documentary. It says, Hours of Bonus Features. So, behind-the-scenes documentaries, uh, the 1931 Spanish version of Dracula, Bela Lugosi, Bar uh, Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., and Brack, uh, Jack Pierce uh, featurettes. It has 13 excerpt uh, feature commentaries, uh, archival footage, uh, production photographs, theatrical trailers, and much, much more. So that's pretty much what it has. So pretty much every uh, legacy probably has some kind of like its own special features and stuff like that. Uh, this one right here, uh, you have to buy this box set to get this 48 page. Is it 48 page? I believe that's what it said. 48 page collectible book. So not, you know, it does not come with the uh, legacy sets or anything like that this booklet right here some people love getting these like booklets and stuff with like extra features and like stuff like that like this one probably has a whole bunch of like pictures for each movie that they did have and such kind of you know gives you a little story behind all of them and such like that so if you open up you know each one it probably gives you you know a brief synopsis of the actors and actresses and stuff and uh the different movies and stuff but this is pretty cool. Like I said, the old, uh, the house, what does this say? The original House of Horror Universal and Monster Le and a Monster Legacy. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, a 48 page little book that does come with the, uh, with this little box set here. So what I'll do is I'll show you, like I said, each one kind of deal. Um, they do come in, uh, I guess not really any kind of specific order. Uh, but this one, like I said, is the only stand-alone movie, The Phantom of the Opera. It comes with a few different uh, bonus features. It has the uh, opera ghost, The Phantom of Mast, the feature commentary with the uh, film historian Scott McQueen, uh, production photographs, and theatrical trailer. So like I said, that's what it looks like. And then the back, it looks like this, I don't know if this is the only one in color or something like that, but... Uh, this is the only, you know, Phantom of the Opera is the only one that has like a single standalone movie, I guess you want to call it. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show them in the order that I have them in here. So then you get the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. And this one actually comes with three different movies. It says uh, three films from 1954 to 1956. Uh, comes with the Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature, and the Creature Walks Among Us. So if I open it up, it gives you like the all the movies and stuff. This one's just a creature from the Black Lagoon, which I do have a few times over, like I said, because I do have the other bo uh, the other um, you know box sets and not box sets, but the uh, other Universal monsters and stuff. And this one comes with the Revenge of the Creature and the Creature Walks Among, among Us. So that's uh, that one right there. You got the Invisible Man legacy set. Like I said, um, I never owned any of them, but pretty much what this is is just all the legacy sets minus the uh, their own, you know, slipcover and stuff, which, I, to tell you the truth, was probably one of the coolest slipcovers. I just never ended up getting them. Uh, this one includes uh, how many movies? This one has six films, which is Invisible Man, The Invisible Man Returns, The Invisible Woman, Invisible Agent, The Invisible... Invisible Man's Revenge and Albert and Costello meet the Invisible Man. That, to tell you the truth, the three Albert and Costello movies, I think, are what sold me on these. I'm like, I remember watching those movies when I was younger. I need to get them on, you know, something with it. So uh, that's why I got it. Now you see him, the Invisible Man revealed. That's a bonus feature, feature commentary with historian Rudy Bel uh, Belmer, uh, production photographs and theatrical trailers. So. 
each one of these have you know a good amount of special features and stuff this is just the invisible man the standalone movie and then in this one you have uh, invisible uh, man returns and then the invisible woman on the one disc then you have the invisible agent and the invisible man's revenge is on the other disc a two disc set and then the last one should be Albert and Costello meet uh, meet the Invisible Man. So each one kind of comes with its own, you know, um, you know, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, not logistics. I was about to say logistics, but you know, each when you open it up, it gives you like the time and and such for each one. Like if I turn that, it gives you you know a rundown and stuff. So that's the Invisible Man little box set. Uh, it's a wolf. This is the Wolfman one, and it comes with seven films on it. Like I said, the Wolfman Legacy little set here. It comes with the Wolfman, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, Albert and Costello meet the Wolfman, Wolfman of London, and She Wolf of London. So pretty much, if you see any of the Universal monsters fall into someone else's movie that movie is also in this set if you know what i'm saying you'll you'll see as i go through them but pretty much as that movie pops out of the uh case so let me put this back where it's supposed to be okay so hopefully that sticks for some reason it does not look like it wants to there you go had to push it a little bit harder but that is the original Wolfman movie there. Let me turn that. Then you have uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman in the House of Frankenstein and House of Dracula. So that's a three disc, you know, three movies on this set. Uh, this is Albert and Costello meet Frankenstein. So I'm guessing at that point in time, um, it is the Wolfman makes an appearance in there. And then Werewolf of London and She-Wolf of London on here. So I'm pretty much in, in every set, I'm guessing you get, you know, or like I said, if the Universal Monster makes an appearance in any of the movies, it's going to be in the Legacy set. So I, like I said, I never owned the Legacy set beforehand, so I couldn't tell you all that. But this is uh, The Mummy with six films from the original set from 1932 to 1955. And like I said, there's The Mummy little set oh yeah by the way with the wolfman bonus features it comes with a bunch uh monster by uh moonlight documentary the wolfman from ancient curse to modern myth that's another thing pure of heart the life and legacy of lon cheney jr uh who are he who made monsters the life and art of jack pierce uh the wolfman archives albert and costello meet the monsters uh, two feature commentaries and theatrical trailers or everything that come with the Wolfman. This, like I said, is the mummy. And this one comes with uh, the mummy, the mummy's hand, the mummy's tomb, the mummy's ghost, the mummy's curse, and Albert and Costello meets the mummy. And this, the bonus features on this one is um, Mummy Dearest, the, the horror tradition unearthed documentary. Uh, he Who Made Monsters, The Life and Art of Jack Pierce. I don't know if that's the same one, uh, but that what that is, Unraveling the Legacy of the Mummy, uh, the Mummy Archives, two feature commentaries, and theatrical trailers. So like I said, that is just like the regular Mummy Legacy collection. So then you open this up. Like a, put that there. I'm going to pop these in, I guess, a little bit harder. Like I said, the original standalone, the Mummy. And you have the mummy's hand and the mummy, uh, the mummy's tomb, on a set. You have the mummy's ghost and uh, the mummy's curse, on another Blu-ray there. And then the last one is Albert and Costello meet the mummy. Uh, so I'm guessing these two have the most movies on them. This has eight films, and that's the Frankenstein collection or Legacy collection. This one comes with Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, The Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, The House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Albert and Costello Meet Frankenstein. So with the Wolfman and the Frankenstein, you get two times the movies, I guess, with, you know, Frankenstein Meets Dracula and Frankenstein, uh, whatever. Uh, so you get Frankenstein, 
you get Bride of Frankenstein and um, actually I guess that's by itself Bride of Frankenstein then you have Son of Frankenstein and the Ghost of Frankenstein on the one set you have Frankenstein meets the Wolfman and Frankenstein uh, the House of Frankenstein and the House of Dracula so that I'm guessing it it's probably going to be this disc here is probably going to be in the Dracula one too. So it's probably going to be three times I'm going to have to own that disc. And then the last one is Albert and Costello meet Frankenstein. So that's, you know, the second time I have that. And this one has a whole bunch of uh, bonus features. The Frankenstein Files, How Hollywood Made a Monster documentary. Uh, She's Alive creating the Bride of Frankenstein documentary. Karloff, the Gentle Monster. Um... The Frankenstein Archives, The Bride of Frankenstein Archives, Boo, a short film, Albert and Costello meets the um, meets the monsters, four feature commentary uh, on here, and theatrical trailers. So that, like I said, is the Frankenstein uh, collection and such. And then the last one is, I'm guessing this one probably has the, actually no, Frankenstein had the most. Uh, but this is all six films from the original Legacy collection, and that's Dracula. So this one comes with Dracula, Dracula's Daughter, Son of Dracula, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Albert and Costello meet uh, Frankenstein. So then if I go like this, you get Dracula. Uh, Dracula, or Daughter of Dracula, or Dracula's Daughter, should I say, and Son of Dracula. Is on that one and this one only has uh, the house of Frankenstein and the house of Dracula so that's a little bit different than this but that's a third time in this set alone you get those two movies and then Albert and Costello meets Frankenstein so that's the third copy of the Albert and Costello so like I said each one of these is just if the, the monster universal monster showed up in the collection or in the movie I'm guessing they just had you know, just put it in here. So pretty much they just took all the legacy collections and put them in, uh, you know, one, like just put them in this set. So like I said, I never owned any of the legacy collections. I own the single movies themselves, but I never owned the legacy collection. So that's why I'm like, let me get this now, especially for the price that it is pretty much half off. So I'll leave the link to where you can purchase this. If you're looking into purchasing something like this, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale, but the original price was $149.99 uh, or something like that, but now it's $69.99. So get your hands on this. Really cool looking box set. Very thick, very, you know, um, very nice and bossed and stuff like that. If you feel it, it's just very nice. Like I said, I enjoy the Legacy, uh, you know, box set themselves because I like the, like the cover and art and whatever, but if I can get something like this, all of them together, like I said, the, the box is just really, really cool. And like I said, just the feeling of it. A little little loose, I guess. If you try to pick it up, they kind of fly out. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers kind of deal. So definitely check out this uh, box set, especially if you're a Universal Monster, you know, lover. If you enjoy those movies, it's probably the set for you. So what I'll do is I'll leave the uh, link for this box set in the description here so you can check that out also if you haven't already and you like this if you haven't hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit that like button and definitely hit that little bell button so you know when i do upload more content to this channel uh, like last month i did it one at once you know a review every day but it's gonna it's not gonna be every day but you know it i'll, I'll be making stuff it's just not gonna be every day so hopefully you like it like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that little bell button. If you like this update or you let me know which Universal Monster you like the most. And uh, just check out the description for everything I talk about for the link for this and all my other social media. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.